ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. What up, what up, what up? All right, so you guys know the deal. Before I get started, let's get a sound check. Let's get confirmation in the chat that you guys can hear me. Then we'll get started. Sorry for that uh, stoppage there. Unfortunately, this software I'm using, I don't like it very much. Um, I like to use OBS, which is much better for streaming. However, this software that I'm using is integrated with Skype, which is what we're going to use to uh, interact with my co-host, who will be here shortly. So once I get confirmation in the chat that you guys can hear me, we're going to move forward. So uh, also to answer your question, uh, Goji77, uh, I do like anime. Uh, I don't watch it nearly as much as I used to. I just don't have the time anymore. But one of my favorites is Fist of the North Star, obviously Dragon Ball Z. Uh, those are a couple that I like, Ghost in the Shell, stuff like that. Um, a lot of the newer stuff I really haven't gotten a chance to watch. I have actually have a list. I actually have a list of animes that I would like at some point to check out. But, yeah, can't, uh, can't do it, so... All right, so just give me a moment here. I'm gonna refresh because I don't think, I don't think I can see what's going on, what's updated here. So, what's up, Quinn? Nice to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. So, uh, all right, so we're going to uh, we're gonna get started first. I want to introduce uh, my co-host, who many of you already know who it is. He's a good guy. I, I roast him a lot on the nation, and I thought he'd be a good person to have on because if you guys, for those of you who listened to some of my older podcasts back in the day, I used to have, uh, you know, Olivia, and we used to have uh, Xander. All right, Gojira, I'll, I'll check out Berserk at some point, if I ever get a chance, really. It's, it's tough. But um, and Xander, Xander will pop up every now and then. I spoke to him about this, and he, he really doesn't have much time to podcast anymore, but... He did tell me that he'll pop in from time to time and say what's up. However, this guy that I'm about to bring in is, uh, I thought would be a good co-host because we don't agree on a goddamn thing. We do not agree on anything. We end up bickering back and forth. So it'll be good to get a podcast where you get different perspectives. He's a DC guy. I'm a Marvel guy. You know what I mean? So that's a big, big, big issue right there. And um, we never see things eye to eye, hardly ever. So, and I'm going to introduce him. So, Joey Guzman, who's going to be joining us. We are on a, a Skype call right now. And there he is. He looks frozen, though. <laughs> Joey looks frozen. There you go. Oh, Joey, you're a little choppy there, buddy. So, there's Joey. <laughs> so, we're going to wait for him to catch up. Look at him. He's all choppy. There you go. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's settle in. So, Joey, let's get a sound check. I want to make sure you guys can hear him. So, Joey, when you get a chance, say something. Say hi to the chat. Then we'll get started. I don't think he can hear me. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, so Joey's going to be on a bit of a delay. Because, hold on one second here. Because maybe, maybe the issue. All right. Joey, can you hear me? <laughs> I swear to God, this was working five minutes ago. I swear. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, goes. I can hear you, Rob. All right, there we go. There we go. I just thought. Uh, this was working five minutes ago. I swear. It worked fine when we tested it last week. Everything was good. You know? Nah, we're good now. We're good now. We can hear you. So yeah, that's good. You, right. Hold on. You gotta. Yeah, you you might have to lower. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can't you, hear you, dude. You can't hear me. Hold on. 
How about now? I, I can hear me on your end. You need to get a headset, buddy. How about now? I, I can hear me on your end. You need to get a headset, buddy. All right, hold on. Let me connect real quick. I got a headset. All right. Joey Joey's unprepared. Unprepared as usual. Jesus Christ. You asked Joey to do a review, <laughs> it's shit. You asked Joey to join you on a podcast, he's not ready for with a fucking headset. Right. God damn it. Joey, Joey's unprepared. <laughs> unprepared. We have 12 people watching us, Joey. You're not prepared. What the fuck? They're all going to leave now. Bye. That's it. We lost our window of opportunity. Thanks, Joey. There we go. Now he's got the headset. Meanwhile, nobody's here. It's over. <laughs> All right. Can you guys hear Joey on your end? Chat, can you let me know if you can hear him so we can get started? Says he's unprepared. I'm going to have to um I'm going to have to give him a good a good podcast lecture once this is all over with. We'll wait for him to get settled. All right, Joey, I see your headset. Just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Murph? It's nice to see you here. Haven't seen you in a while. Murph, what about you? Can you hear Joey? Did you hear Joey when he spoke the few times he spoke? Look at him. He's trying to be all impressive with the Shingo Jira in the background. Is that... Oh, that's a Godzilla figure. Okay. So while we wait for Mr. Unprepared Joey, we're going to move... We're going to start on our first topic. <laughs> Oh, man. Looks like he's having technical difficulties. Chat, give, cut, him, cut him some slack, chat. Cut him some slack. This is his first time. Yeah, there, there's going to be a delay. There is going to be a bit of a delay. <laughs> Come on, Joey. <laughs> Joey, chat's roasting you. How long is the delay, though? It shouldn't be that long. Is it that big of a delay? Got to cut him some slack, but not enough. I agree. Can All you right. hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. We did. I just want to make sure chat. It sounds like chat can hear you. Rob, There's, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Rob, can you hear me? Okay, hold on. Yes. <laughs> Joey, make sure you use the Skype. For us to talk because there's a delay between me yes, and Yes, I can and hear you. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. Joy, what kind of connection do you have? Wait, wait. Time. Everybody, hold on. Let's see. Let's time how long it takes him to get that message. <laughs> He's got a fucking noisy chair, doesn't he? You hear his chair? <laughs> It's a shitty one, Rob. I, I can't fucking figure this out. It worked out fine like last week, but I can't get this shit to work, man. All right, what what all right. You can hear me, I can hear you. That's what that's what matters right now. Um hold on one second here. All right. The question here is how long is it taking for you to hear me? All right, so the reason <laughs> noisy chairs, I know his fucking chair is noisy as fuck. All right, I got to send him a message on Facebook. All right, cause... hold on. All right, Joey. Uh, how, how can we test that? He's not talking to me through Skype. That's why there's a huge delay. <laughs> he's talking to me through the chat. I mean, excuse me. He's talking to me through Twitch. So he's not talking to me through Skype. Oh, yeah. Let's see if he got that Facebook. This is like, I feel like I'm on fucking uh, Interstellar. You know what I mean? Like, he's on the water planet, and I'm up in space, and we're like 22 years apart right now. 25 seconds. Look at that. That's insane. Joey, are you talking to me on Skype, or are you talking to me on Twitch? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Chat, I am so sorry. We should have been on the first segment already. <laughs> by the time by the time me? Joey's Yeah, I can hear you, Joey. I can hear you. How the fuck do I do this shit? Okay, Joey, can you hear me right now? Like within two seconds, not twenty five. Can you hear me right now? God damn. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. I can hear you right now in two seconds. Okay. Yes, I can hear you right now. I want you to repeat what I say. Joey is unprepared. (laughs) I want you to fucking repeat it. Joey is unprepared. Yeah, you can fucking hear me now. I know you can. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you were talking Joey's to me. fucking unprepared. You were talking to me through Twitch, which is why there's a huge Joey's delay. unprepared. You got to talk to me on about Skype. So it looks like we're actually talking <laughs> in the same time zone. Not like Interstellar, where you're on the fucking water planet, and I'm on the f- in fucking space, aging by 22 goddamn years, Joey. Come on. <laughs> All right. Now we got I, it together. I'm, I'm not on Twitch. I'm on fucking Skype. That's I'm what I said. Skype, I told what you. What do you want me to do? Listen, listen. I'm on Skype. I only told you to open. I'm on fucking Skype. Uh, good, good. That's where I want you to be. The oh, only reason sense. I told you to open Twitch was so that way you could see the chat. That way if they say something like, Joey DC sucks, you could react to that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay, here we go. We're, we made it, guys. We're in the same time zone. All right, so first podcast, Joey. Joey was a little more prepared. D- I, DC doesn't suck. Uh, DC has two Oscars. I'm going to close this page, and I'm just going to talk to you, Scott. Okay, all right. I'll let you know if somebody in chat Hello? Is, yeah. I'll let you know if somebody in chat says something. Rob. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> I'm not fucking. Oh, man. But I can't fucking see you at all. No, you're not. Remember, I told you you're not gonna see me because the camera is working through chat, not through not through Skype. So you're not gonna see me on Skype. Wow, I'm on fucking Skype. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> fucking bullshit. All right, all right. You're not gonna see me through Skype because I don't. I have my camera focused Wait, on. <laughs> Rob, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna post it on YouTube. Company. Get the hell out of here! Did you knock? Oh man! <laughs> This is good stuff, man. Oh, man. Joey, chat's roasting you, brother. You know what it is? It's, all right, so what's causing the delay chat is not... He's not on Twitch anymore. He's on Skype, which is where he's supposed to be talking to me. But but I think he's got... <laughs> I think he's got a delay because I, I don't know if he has a strong internet connection. So I don't know. We might we might have to we might have to drop the, um, drop him. Oh oh, phone calls <laughs> phone calls dead. All right, you know what? We're gonna continue until we possibly get him back. <laughs> We're gonna continue. Excuse me, sorry. We're gonna continue until we possibly get him back later. So all right, <laughs> he's calling me back. Chat, should I pick up? He's calling me back. <laughs> he got squatted. Yep. <laughs> Joe, are you there? Rob, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? What the hell? Oh, man. Rob, can you hear me? Yeah, man, I can hear you. All right, so here's here's the thing, chat. Bring it in, chat. Bring it in. Rob. Yeah, well, hold, hold on one second, dude. Hold on. All right, guys, bring it in. The bar on Skype right now, where the connection is, when he called me, it's red. It's red. (laughs) All right, hold on. Let's see. 
Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Joey? Chad, I think it's going to be a one-man show tonight. <laughs> Joey, they're declaring me victorious over you already. Oh, man. He's typing on me on Facebook right now. Okay. All right. I, I told him we're going to try again uh, probably a little later. Like, I, You know what? Honestly, to be fair, it was we, we practiced this several times in the last week, uh, last Friday and whatever. And everything worked fine. But for some reason, he has a very poor connection tonight. Because when he calls me, it goes red. So he wants me to try again. What do you think, Chad? Should we try this again? Or do you want to just get the ball rolling here? Great A material for YouTube. But poor guy going to get roasted on the nation. <laughs> it's, as, it's as if the Cosmos... Oh, man. You guys are funny as shit. Oh, man. Poor Joey. All right. He wants me to call... Let's give this one more shot, chat. It's Friday night. We, we're chilling. Let's give it one more shot. Let's give Joey a call. Let's see if we can get this ball rolling here. Because what what would this show be without Joey? We need to have Joey here. We got to have somebody to roast. So let's see. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Let's see. All right. Rob, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, man. What's up? Can you hear me? Uh, can't hear me. Bob, can you hear me? Yes, man, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, my God. The connection is horrible. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. All right. That's good. Can you, Now, I want you to repeat after me. I want to make sure there's no delays. Okay. I, Joey Guzman, am completely unprepared for this for this uh, podcast. I, Joey Guzman, am completely unprepared for this podcast. Holy shit, we have a pulse. Okay, so I, we don't see you right now, Joey, but you're here to talk. So okay. So that, that's a positive in my book. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Do you want to turn your camera on or are you embarrassed? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I got to face my mistakes, you know. I, I'm glad you're accepting your fuck up. Uh-huh. We have had the chat roasting you for the for the past like that's well deserved because I this was a fucking disaster so far. All right, you know what? It's okay. We worked out the kinks. Chat stood around. They got a kick out of it, so that worked out. So we all leveraged your errors into comedy. But um Okay. But okay, but that that's why it's me anyway. So it is you. You're the that. problem and, and we accept that. I accept that. Yeah. But okay. we can move on. So okay. all right, so ladies and gentlemen or let me just say gentlemen, because chances are there ain't no ladies in there. Let's be real. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's be real. Look at the title. It says Godzilla, Kong, Wrestling, Bill Paxton. I don't think there's going to be any ladies in here. But with that said, welcome to the ETM podcast that we shifted over to Twitch. With me today is Joey Guzman, my constituent, <laughs> who apparently, not only was he unprepared, but he does not know how to use any semblance of technology no no whatsoever i couldn't even hook up i got my nintendo switch today and i had no idea how to hook up to the tv so i had to youtube it i feel wait, pretty wait, stupid wait, 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 hold on hold on bring it in bring it in bring it in bring it in right. did you did you just say that you bought a, you got your nintendo switch and yes. you didn't know how to hook it up to your tv no, I did not because I, I was able do to do it. Do you know where the out. HDMI cable goes? I that was plugged in. Everything was plugged in, but and I had the got the, the 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 system on the dock like I've seen on all the fucking videos, and it wasn't working. I put it to the right HDM source, which is HDM four, and it did not work. And so then I realized the Joy Cons are not supposed to be on the the system when it's in the dock. I removed the Joy-Cons, and I connected to the TV that way. It's it's a bit advanced for me. I'm getting old at my age, and uh, it, it's working fine with my Nintendo Switch, to, which I am gameless right now. No <laughs> games. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got that worked out. All right, so 
pretty big week in entertainment, especially if you're a kaiju fan. Um, yep. But before we get into yep. that, because we know there was a lot of good stuff for Godzilla. That was a big deal. We were very happy about that. Casting news. Obviously, uh, Kong, which is coming out next week. Uh, a lot of reviews came in. We'll talk about that. But what I want to get started with here is uh, I want to talk about Bill Paxton because that was a very, very sad story. Right, right. right. Um, Bill Paxton was uh, a very, very – he was a very good actor, very funny. Uh, he's been in a lot of different movies. Uh, you know, I remember the first time I saw him was in Terminator. He had a very small role where he right. basically got killed. And um, – Obviously, one of my favorite roles for him was, uh, I think it was Lieutenant Hudson from Aliens. Okay. Uh, that was a great, great role. Um, and obviously, he had a couple of movies where he was a lead, uh, Twister. Now, I, I don't know. Movie. I don't know. What, yeah, Twister was one of his few movies where he was the lead character. He didn't have too many movies where he was the lead character. Uh, obviously, he was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but you wouldn't know anything about that, Joey, because you're a DC fan. Agents of who? They, that show's still on the air? I oh, my God. it be canceled by guy. now. Listen, look, look. <laughs> all right. Let, to be fair, that? we're going off. We're going off course here. But to be fair, the DC TV shows are very good. I, you know, I enjoy the Flash. I enjoy Arrow. But uh, yes, Agents of Shield is still on the air. It's a very good show. Um, but like I said, you wouldn't know anything about that being a DC fan. So uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. So oh well, I just want to say something about Bill Paxton because yeah, I was first introduced to him. Uh, and my first radar movie I saw when was in gray. Did you just say July. you saw? Did you just hold on? Was did you just say you saw your first rated R movie last year? No, in the second grade, which was almost twenty five, twenty six years ago. Okay. So no, it was True Lies, and he was uh, the scumbag uh, used car salesman. Yes, and, yes, that he was very and, funny and in that. My, it, it, his play to get women was that he would tell them that he's some kind of Asian, which was actually what uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character was. And my favorite scene in, that Bill Paxton was in that that movie was uh, when he's out to lunch with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and. Uh, a waiter comes through the door and he has a cart full of dishes and it sounds like someone's banging through and Bill Paxton turns around and puts his hand in his jacket as if he has a gun. And he's like, Oh, just false alarm. All right, all that right, just right. cracks me up. That, that that's, that's Bill Paxton to the T right there. Joey, and, I you just know, want you, I want old, you, old, before, I don't mean to cut you off. I want you to know something very important. I have seen the movie just so you know. Okay. okay. I'm just describing it for the people who may not have seen that Gemma movie. Cause that movie probably would rank, Ahead of every single Marvel Marvel movie that has come out within the past ten oh years. Oh my, this fucking guy! You, you, Rank in front not, of every Marvel. Look, look. Yeah. First of all, you're poor. You're bad at trolling. That was such a poor attempt at Think trolling. About it. What agency did Arnold Schwarzenegger work for in that in that movie? Do you he know? Worked for the government. No. No. Yeah, but what agency was it? He wasn't CIA. He wasn't FBI. It was a secret organization that was run by a guy with an eye patch. You know who that is? He was the, actually the first Avenger. That was the Avengers, and he was an Avenger, a real life Avenger, not some superhero. He was a real life agent of Shields. That's what he was. Okay, okay, hold on, hold, on. hold on. on. It's time for a huddle. Chat, okay, huddle, huddle. Joey, bring it in, bring it in. Okay, let me, in. let me, okay, let, let me get this straight. Don't okay. worry, Joey. Right, Joey, right now you don't want to read the comments. Oh, that's let me fine. get this straight. So your assessment. Uh, first of all, we're talking about Bill Paxton, but. Yeah, I your know, assessment, but... your assessment, is that the guy with the eye, which which I believe was Charleston Heston. Yes, it was. That's correct. So you're saying a... that he Arnold was Schwarzenegger Nick was the first yes. Avenger, yes. and Charleston Heston. He wasn't the first, but he was. He was. He was. You're part telling of the me Avengers. that True Lies is like a Marvel movie before it was a Marvel movie. Yeah, is your it's like it's like a, a a real life Avengers if it were real, not like some like there's no billionaire man of an Iron Man suit, there's no god from Asgard. This is real life people doing real life superhero work, but they are human beings. That's what the Avengers are in real life. Arnold Schwarzenegger was an agent of what, the Avengers. Was he an agent of Shield, bro? Yeah, he was. You know, I, I, I look, I'll say this to be fair. You have a pretty interesting way of looking at things. Uh-huh. You have an interesting way of looking at things. Of course, that's not how I see it. Mm -hmm. I see it as just an Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger movie where he plays 
an agent for the government. He's a spy. But you don't know what agency, at least all his other movies, you know who he's working for. I think it's safe to assume that it's the CIA. No, because the CIA wouldn't be held to such secrecy. You would know that he's working for the CIA. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, so, but I mean, back to, and that was a good role. I mean, we got, of course, there, but that role yeah, was smart, very good yeah. in True Lies. It, it was small. He's always been good at stuff like that, doing small roles and, and, and you know, very, very funny scenes. But um, I personally, I like I said, I liked him in Aliens. I liked him in Twister. Uh, his short stint on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was very good. Um, now, I heard that it was a... It was a complication during surgery. What kind of surgery was he having? You have any idea? Because I, that I don't remember. I, I didn't really, really read into it, but I just I heard the same thing as you heard. It was some kind of a complications from surgery. I don't even know what it was. I didn't look in, too much into it. You know, it's just unfortunate. Chad, do, this, Chad do you guys know by any chance what surgery he was having that they had a complication? I imagine it would it would have had to have been something that was pretty severe. It was heart surgery. Okay, so yeah, heart surgery is pretty serious. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's too bad. Yeah, that that yeah, it's very unfortunate. So yeah, you know, I just wanted to start off the podcast with that because Bill Paxton, uh, it was very he was very young, sixty one years old. Yep. Um, you know, did a lot of work, and um, he's he's just had some very, uh, what I would call, memorable roles. You know, like he wasn't a huge superstar. He didn't. He wasn't a star of all these movies. He had a couple of starring roles. In a few movies, but he always had these roles that you remember, like Hudson, right. like the guy from Terminator, like you said, True Lies, which is a very memorable scene yeah. with him and Arnold. And every other James Cameron movie. Yeah, like James, yeah, and James Cameron life. seemed to really love the guy. Yeah. Uh, he and He's like that, James Cameron. Like he, he, I noticed Christopher Nolan the same way. They have a group of actors they like, and they continue to work with them. Uh, James Cameron Except obviously has Nolan worked with... hasn't made a bad movie yet. Who? Christopher Nolan, everything uh, he touches is gold. Pretty and much. I mean, his, I, I, his movie coming out this year, uh, Dunkirk is probably going to win Best Picture for the Academy Awards next year. Well, let's not get ahead maybe, of ourselves, Joey. Let's not get ahead. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm just throwing it out there. We have to at least see the movie first. first. You know, you're already, you're already. It's Christopher Nolan. It, so yeah, but I mean, you, he hasn't won Best Movie of the Year. He didn't win that for like Interstellar or any of the Batman movies. Now he would never win a you know movie of the year for a Batman movie because it is DC. But you know um, he has an Academy Award winning. Oh, here we for- fucking go, <laughs> DC with a. Ma- I mean, so let's transition the Academy Awards. Let's just go right into it as, as since we brought it up, sure, because that was that was very funny. What I, and I don't yeah. I don't watch the Academy Awards to be honest. I just I I think it's fucking boring. You know, I do what a lot of other people do. I either wait till it's over and go on some website and see who the winners were, or I wait till the next day and I just check the the main winners, like director, best movie, best actor, best actress, supporting, supporting, and that's uh-huh. it. You know, nobody gives a shit about stuff like makeup because I know where you I know where you're fucking going. <laughs> makeup. I know where you're going, we'll Joey. I'm not a fucking we'll get idiot. To makeup uh, in a minute, but uh, yeah, the, the biggest story, you know, from. Uh, uh, the Academy Awards was the, the mix-up at the end for Best Picture. It's funny because before uh, uh, that that event occurred, I had paused my TV and I went to go out and eat something. And then on my phone, I got notified that Moon La- or uh, La La Land had won Best Picture. I'm like, all right, I, I'm spoiled. You know, I'm just gonna you know go on Facebook because now I know who won. And I'm going on Facebook, and then all of a sudden I get a notification again saying that in a mistake, it was Moonlight that actually won. So then I, I watched it, and I thought it was one of the funniest moments I've now ever who, seen on live TV. Who announced that? Who made that error? Was that Jimmy Kimmel? No, it was uh, – I forget this guy's name. He's one, an older actor. And apparently from what I have heard and read is that the accounting firm that counts up – the ballots for the Academy Awards, they have two separate envelopes for the winners and they're on each side of the stage. And somehow the, uh, the announce the presenter of the best picture somehow was given the second envelope that was supposed to go to Emma Stone, who won best actress. And so I saw him look at it and I thought he was just being an old man who who couldn't read because he looked really confused as hell out there. And so then he gave... somebody told me in chat. Thank you, Murph, for that. Uh, Warren Beatty's kind of old though. It was Warren Beatty that was one of the uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's correct. Yeah, he's, that's... he's up there. 
Yeah, so I thought it was just old age and he couldn't read. And I'm like, oh, my God, this guy, you know, he's seen now. He doesn't know what he's doing. And so he gave it to the card to the, the other actress who was there whose name escapes me. And then she just screams out Emma Stone. And then you can hear audio if you turn it up saying, but it, that's not right. That says best actress. And then, you know, all the La La Land people go up there and then they're all celebrating. And then the, the classic, he's like, oh, and we didn't win, by the way. Moonlight won. You guys won best picture. And it was just, it was great. It was real classy by the producer to say, hey, you know what? Come up here and take your award. This is yours. This isn't ours. Wow. You know, it, so it was good of him. You know, it, it it's really hard to, you know, have that gold in your hand and have to give it away. Yeah, I don't think Something I could have done that, it. I, I probably would have ran out the Oscars with it. You know who else could have done that were the makeup artists of Suicide Squad because they actually won. And so they don't have to give anything up because that's two Academy Awards that go to DC. I know Marvel is trailing in that department. I think they got nominated, but, you know, I guess that's all they really care for. DC goes for the gold. They have two Academy Awards, one for Best Supporting Actor, Heath Ledger, Best Makeup, Suicide Squad. So, and you know who else probably could have won an Academy Award that night was if they wanted to, if Japan were to, wanted to submit a picture for, a film for best foreign picture, Shin Godzilla probably would have won. Just like they won seven Japanese Academy Awards last night. Seven. I know this is this is one of the most divisive Godzilla films. There's thirty two of them, thirty three almost now. Mm -hmm. And only only one of them has ever been nominated for a uh, Japanese Academy Award, which was the original Godzilla, Gojira, nineteen fifty four. That didn't win. And you have 29 films, you know, over a day's worth of watching movies. And Shin Godzilla, the movie that nobody wants to admit that they like, but deep in doubt inside they loved it, has won seven. And do you, you, know, do I, you hear yourself talk right now? I hear myself talk. Do you talk. fucking hear what you're saying? Hey, hey listen. Honestly, first of all, first time. of all, hold on, hold on. Because you've been talking like five minutes. Chat's getting annoyed. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> hold on go a second. Ahead. First of all, <laughs> first of all, you need to get some motherfucking Dimatap because you're fucking congested. That's number one. It's number two, week. nobody gives a shit about makeup in the Oscars, okay? You know what people do okay. when they go look at... Don't, uh, hold on. Yeah. You know what people do when they look up the Oscars the next day after the goddamn show? They look at the best actor, best supporting actor, best actress, best supporting actress. Nobody looks down at the bottom and says, oh, look who got nominated for makeup. Who gives a shit by who gives a fuck? Nobody. Nobody gives a shit about makeup, okay? That's number one. Number two... If that's a loser's mentality. No, no, that's not a loser's mentality. Don't, 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 this coming from a fucking Titans fan, okay? From a We've fucking Titans Are you bad kidding me? Runs. We've Please. had a bad couple of runs. How's Tim Tebow doing over for your Mets in spring training? He's not going to start. Anyways, go on, continue. He's not going to start. That's a, that's, that's a publicity ploy. The same thing the Jets okay. did. I, I'm not worried about Tim Tebow. He's not going to be in the starting lineup. He won't even be on the Major League roster. By the end of spring training, just so you know. God willing, yeah. literally. So, so anyway, anyway so getting back to this shit about you and, and, and trying to fucking hold on to this Oscar shit with Suicide Squad. Look, okay, nobody gives a fuck about makeup, okay? And if it's any indication of what's to come, I saw that concept art of the Scarecrow which looks like fucking shit. It looks like Huckleberry Finn on fucking crack with a straw hat. It's horrible. Horrible. Don't count Tebow out. I'm counting him out since the day he got signed with the Mets. Let's be real. All right. The well, guy can't... Look, I'm, I'm, and I'm responding to chat right now, Joey, because somebody said don't count Tebow out. Here's the, <laughs> here's the problem with Tebow. The guy couldn't fucking play football, and he'd been playing it his whole life. Now he's he going to come out of nowhere football. and play baseball? No, not happening. He's not happening. College. He's college football. <laughs> no, but what do you think about Shin Godzilla winning seven out of I'm, 11? No, I'm, I'm happy he won. I'm happy he won. I am. I said, it, I said it on the nation. I said I'd be very happy if it won because that just is going to further progress the character, which is what I want. In terms of whether or not I think it deserves the award, I, there's only one or two things I can think of as to why I got the award. Number one, it had zero competition, which means all the other movies in Japan that year were shit. Or number two, Japan has low standards. 
because it's a very mediocre movie. It's it's I'm not. It's not the worst Godzilla movie, not by far. No. There's there's hard, it's not obviously the best either. It, it falls it's, in between. It's I think it's it's a it's a, it's a middle of the road Godzilla movie, uh, and and that's not bad, you know. But it's I don't think it's up there with the fifty four. I don't think it's up there with eighty four, and I don't think it's up there no. with two thousand fourteen. I don't. I don't know. Like yep. I said, when I, when I first saw it, I had just got, landed in Japan. I had got lost for a while. Finally found my hotel. I've been up for like 20 hours. I'm like, all right, it's like 11 o'clock Japan time. I was going to wait a couple of days to see it, but I'm like, I just want to see it right away and get it over with. And I fell asleep for the first hour because there's too much it's talk. It's the best it thing boring. to watch if you're having trouble falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. It was boring, so I had to watch it again. I watched it in 4D, and the seats were moved, and there was smoke and all that shit. Hold on. Hold, hold like, that thought, Joey. Hold that thought. I got to I gotta, I, just bring it in real quick. Uh, Rick the Squirrel, I don't give a shit if you didn't like 5084 because I like it and that's all that matters. Thank you. Go ahead, Joey. Yeah, so I saw it again and I, I didn't, you know, obviously when you don't understand what's, well, I, I kind of understood what's happening, but when you're listening to people talking a foreign language and maybe there was like three, four di- uh, Eng- English dialogue, which was pretty bad by that actress. Who also was nominated for an Academy Award. For she Best was nominated Actress. for an Academy she Award. She was nominated. You've got to be fucking kidding it, me. She didn't win, it did was, she? Uh, no, she didn't win. Of course not. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. No, yeah, of course not. Uh, Shin Godzilla won. Uh, they won seven, which I forget which ones they won. They won uh, Best Director, both directors, uh, Best Cinematography, Sound Editing. Uh, something else, something else that's really not important. Not as important as makeup, but just other things. Okay, but you want to know something else that's not important, Joey? What's that? Whatever the fuck you have to say about Shin Godzilla. Moving on. All right, okay, but staying, on. staying in the topic of Godzilla. Now, for the for <laughs> let me not let me, let me not Godzilla. let me not get people fired up right now. It's my first time back. February's over. March is here. I can get back to streaming and doing videos and March stuff. Is the king. Yeah, but. In all honesty, um, it was very exciting to hear some of the casting for the Godzilla sequel, which is two years away. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown, which two years away. to me, yeah, a few years away. Did I say, how many, didn't I say two years? He said three years. But... Whatever. It, it's it, your, almost your, two your now, ears are fucked up. Of... That's okay. It's no problem. Um, Millie Bobby Brown is from Stranger Things, and obviously she's, 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 done, she's done a lot of stuff, actually, as a kid already. But Stranger I Things is her breakout thing. character. Yeah, that was her breakout role. Um, I think it's a great casting. I think the young lady's a good actress. I just hope she's not kid fodder, you know? I hope she's not the character that gets casted as a kid, but she's not the focal, one of the focal points in the movie. Kind of like in the first movie where, you know, not that I wanted the kid to be a focal point, but he wasn't a real focal point in the movie. Yeah. He was just No, I, from what I understand, she, she gets top billing, and she's supposedly going to be the star of this movie. I don't know... Either it's gonna I'm be. I'm telling you right now, she's going it's Godzilla's to be, Revenge too. She's gonna to have be. a connection. No, to, I, I think that's 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 too easy because she already has that the you know that kind of deal going on in Stranger Things. You're not just gonna you know typecast her in her first you know movie to be doing the same thing connected to Mothra. I don't know. I yeah. I, I think it's a I think it's a possibility. I think it, it's a possibility. I think more than likely, yeah. But I just, I, it, I don't like that idea. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out as we go. Now, the one, the woman casted as her mother is another very good actress. Um, yes. Vera or Miga, yeah. Yeah. Really uh, I, I, right now, she she does the uh, Bates Motel. She plays yeah. uh, she plays the mother, and um, another very talented actress. So that's two very good casting so far. Uh, I, I like it. I like the direction it's going. But they in. have a uh, uh, Kyle Chandler who was was in the Peter Jackson King Kong Friday Night Lights. I called that uh, Quinn. Yeah, sorry, Super I was just talking yeah. about the comment section. Yeah, um, go ahead, continue. Sorry, you about know that. Like, he, he he's a solid actor. He's just uh, who's this? Who's this that you mentioned? Is is it Chris Chandler or Kyle Chandler? I can't I can't think of his name right now. But he was in the 2005 King Kong uh, Super Eight. He's been on Friday Night Lights. Solid actor. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. All right. Uh, Wait, Peter, is he? Is he? Does he have blonde hair? No, he's dark haired. Peter Jackson King Kong. He was the actor that uh, Jack Black's character hired to be the lead opposite of Anne. Oh, he, okay. Yeah, I like that guy. 
they'll though he will be a uh, uh millie's uh, uh dad so those that's the couple that's their daughter i don't know who else supposedly he's gonna play a zoologist in this movie so we'll see where that's gonna lead up to and the only returning cast member rumored right now is ken watanabe who was also nominated for a japanese academy award but lost okay so yeah and a lot of people said they wanted him to come back anyway yeah. They said if anybody comes back, they'd like it to be him, which is fine. I, I didn't like Aaron Taylor Johnson's performance, despite the fact that I uh, think Aaron Taylor Johnson's a good actor. He uh, is. I just thought he gave a poor, poor performance in the movie. I think he just checked out of that movie. Yeah. Um, I think he just collected a paycheck. He knew it was going to be a big budget. Uh, it was one of his first big budget movies because um, he had been doing Kick-Ass before that and some other roles. Um, he did Savages, which wasn't a big budget movie, but it was a pretty good movie. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not too... Um, I'm, I'm glad they're coming back. I'm, I'm glad that they're going with the cast they're going with. If uh, Watanabe comes back, that'd be great. Uh, even his, yeah. uh, even if uh, uh, what's her name? Is it Hawkins? Uh, yeah, Sally Hawkins. I hope she comes back. Too. I, I'd I like her to come back too. She she was a really good actress, and she was great in her small role. Yeah, I hope Ken Watanabe's role is actually he's actually part of the story, and he just doesn't stare off into the distance like he did in the first movie. But even staring at the distance, he does it so good. He does. So and maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he does. Did you hear Matt Frank's idea for how he would have wrote that movie? How instead of Aaron or a uh, what's his name, Brian Cranston Pat dying, it was actually going to be Aaron Taylor Johnson dying, and he would have to call uh, his uh, his uh, the guy's wife, and like tell, and it's, she would basically resent him because the only reason why Aaron Taylor Johnson went out there was because he was in jail. Right. And if he wasn't in jail, then he wouldn't have died. It and he could have carried given, that. It would have given the movie that more substance. Yeah. yeah. It would have been so much better because it's Brian Cranston all the way. You're not going to have, you know, Aaron Taylor Johnson mailing it in. That's yeah. what, that was his idea. That's pretty good. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, you know, we're in a monster verse now. So, uh, you know, I can't complain anymore. Yeah, I'm not either. And I think it's going to be, I think, uh, I never think the, um, the casting is a good a good start. I mean, I thought the casting was good the first time around. I just think yeah, that they they had some great actors that they didn't utilize correctly. Uh, Brian Cranston died too too early. Uh, Julia Benash yeah. is an Academy died Award winner, early. and she died in the first five minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, Ken Watanabe, yeah. as you said, not enough lines. Uh, you know, he 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 wasn't. He was part of the story, yes, as somewhat focal point. But he should have. Been, I I thought he should have had a more of a leading role than he did, um, right. and Great. they they basically put the movie on the shoulders of Aaron Taylor Johnson. And it just didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work uh, at I all. still love the movie. Don't get me wrong. I yeah, just. Well, I, but it, I've said it since day one. I, I said it since the movie came out. I never liked ATJ in the movie. I never liked him. Uh, that was my one of my biggest criticisms was that ATJ was just too bland. He wasn't good. He didn't deliver. Uh, yeah. But I know he's a good actor. I've seen him. In fact. I mean, he yeah. recently got nominated for a Golden Globe for his role in uh, yeah. what's the name of that he movie? He won. He won. Golden he won. Globe. Did he won that one? Yeah. Okay. He won. What was the name of the movie? I forget the name. Uh, Night. Uh, Nocturnal. Nocturnal something. I, I was. Something. I didn't, yeah. I didn't see Nick it, but I want. I want to check it out. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a good actor, but he just he just nailed it, and he probably wanted that uh, paycheck to buy a house or something. So, uh, just a response here, quick in chat. Uh, Gojira seventy seven wants to know. Uh, how about the new writers and the director? Um, I, I mean, is it a new writer? Are we still getting uh, no, Max it, Bornstein? It, it, it was Max Bornstein, the original writer of Godzilla for 2014, and he also wrote some of uh, Kong Skull Island. He wrote, he wrote like that. he wrote some of it, and then the new uh, director and writer Michael Doherty, who directed Cramp, directed Krampus. and wrote Krampus. But he's also and, directing uh, too, isn't Treat. he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and he directed a uh, Trick or Treat, which is a uh, Cold classic Halloween movie. So small time, uh, small time, yeah. much similar to the approach of the first yeah. movie. Small time, kind of indie director getting yeah. his first big budget film. Uh, right. You know, I I didn't see Krampus. I didn't see the other movie uh, Trick or Treat, but I heard that they are very good. You know, um, solid horror movies or or black mm -hmm. comedy, if you will. Because uh, some people said there was some comedy elements to Krampus. Um, yeah, it was. I. I, I, I Go ahead. I was gonna say I, we'll have to see. I mean, I don't, I don't know enough about the director to say whether he's good or bad. Um, but I think he knows what he has in his hands. Uh, I think he, he loves knows. Godzilla, which, yeah, which is 
it's, it's loving great. Godzilla yeah. is obviously an important thing, but yeah. I think what's important too is that he learns from some of the mistakes of the first movie. Um, you know, I think the movie's going to be more action packed. I think they're going to it's going to be more like what we're hearing Kong is. I think that's the direction they're going. You know, and yeah. it, it makes sense. I mean, look. Godzilla's intro is out the way. His origin is out the way. There's no need to waste time with that. Yeah. If anything, they need to spend time developing the origin for the other monsters that they're going to have in the movie. So, I said, well, we don't know which monsters are going to be in there. Uh, but I'll get to that in a minute. But, yeah, I haven't seen Trick or Treat, but I've been wanting to check it out because it does look interesting. It does look like a real, like, classic what a Halloween movie should be. I've seen parts of Krampus. It was on last couple weeks ago, and I started to watch it. Yep. The, the story is uh, okay. The, you know, the, it's, it, there are some corny parts, but what I did really like was how he he treated, like, the, the monsters that were in that movie. It's just there are some really cool shots in the way he, like, each separate monster has its own unique characteristics, which is going to be exciting to see what he does. Now, as far as what monsters are going to be in Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters, I think for sure... Mothra's going to be in it. He's kind of been hinting on that as Twitter. Well, yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think that's an obvious yeah. one. Yeah, I think uh, possibly Rodan, but I don't know if you'd want to have two like flying monsters in the same movie. And as far as King Dora, uh, well, that's I think another flying one. They all fly, actually. Yeah, that, that, yeah, it's flying. So I think they're going to save you know one of them or two of them for uh, Godzilla versus Kong because you know that. Uh, Godzilla and King Kong, there's not going to be a winner between those two. You know they're going to team up somehow for some ridiculous way, and it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, that's been the popular consensus. I, I think personally, uh, I think they should pick a winner just to kind of rustle some jimmies. But, yeah. Because <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know, I mean, one way or another, nobody's going to be happy about that outcome if somebody were to win. Well, if I'm Warner Brothers Legendary, I'm saying, okay, Toho, how much are you willing to pay me if you want Godzilla to win? Okay. Yeah. They're not hey, gonna Universal. pay shit. They'll just say Universal. Uh, if, if how much money are you gonna pay me to have King Kong win? Okay. All right, Kong wins because Toho is not gonna pay because they're too busy making their Academy Award winning Japanese Godzilla movies, and they'll give us American the popcorn flick ones. See, and I'm gonna I just wanna respond real quick to uh, Queen Craftables. Uh, so he says Mothra's died in every movie, and I think they will honor that tradition. Uh, the only thing is, is that every movie in, that she's died in, other than GMK, she's had the larva. So that's yeah. the question. If if they do that, will she leave behind a larva? Will Mothra be a larva? Well, she's not going to be a larva form in this movie because every time they, they uh, tease her, she has wings. So No, um, but but even the, the little snippet of video that uh, the director tweeted was, well, it was a cocoon and the, the moth hatched out of it. Right. So maybe there's got to. I mean, maybe they'll find like another spore like that. How they found the mutos. Or they'll just show they'll just show Mothra as a as a, a larva, and she eventually evolves into into a moth. Plain and simple. Yeah. I think the playoff. Uh, I remember. You remember the marketing for the first movie? How they kept on showing those uh, those holes in the ground around the world, and nothing ever came out of that. Well, they, the, if you want to, if you want to get technical, actually they did. They came out of Kong because that's what the skull crawlers. Yeah, doing. that's what I was gonna get to. Yeah. Oh, uh, see, I beat you too, yeah. Joe. You got to be fast on the. You got to be fast on the trigger. So, speaking of Kong, let's move on to that now because uh, that movie's coming out in a week, and um, interesting thing. There's a lot of reactions. Uh, yeah. So far, excuse me. From what I can see, a lot of the reviews are pretty good pretty good and it seems that the one review that a lot of people are not happy with is uh chris duckman from youtube who yeah gave it a you know, yeah he gave it a very bad review i mean i i watched it and yeah. i could understand why some people are triggered because um he was very condescending and obnoxious about the way he did it like i said to myself all right i i get he doesn't like the movie but he's like he, it's almost like he was going out of his way to make it sound really that bad. That sounds like that sounds like Chris Duckman. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, I don't really care for him. I don't watch his videos. I'll see him on other uh, YouTube channels, and I'm like, this guy. I don't think he understands concepts, or I just don't care for him. I, you know, but you know, he kudos to him for doing his own thing. But I don't really care what he has to say. Yeah. Um. 
so that's a big but overall it seems to me i mean i don't know what the current rating is last time i saw or last time somebody told me it was at 80 percent. i don't know that's if good you know i don't know if that's where it's at now if chad if you want to but confirm I mean, uh, you know rotten tomatoes is owned by disney anyway so <laughs> Oh. That's just a joke. I don't believe that at all. So, and uh, excuse me, just to kind of respond to chat. So, so eighty three now. Okay, so he's it's got an average score of six point two, overall rating of eighty three percent, which is very good. Which is yeah, that's very, good very for good. You know, uh, It's uh, better than all DC movie. movies. So, not you know. I'm not the not Batman, <laughs> not Batman Returns, not the Dark Knight, oh, not Jesus Batman Christ. Begins, but not that's all DC Christ. has is Batman. You guys. Hang on those bat nuts okay. so long. What does Godzilla have? Well, they have is Godzilla. Nobody cares about fucking Ingress, man. It's Godzilla. Yeah, but Godzilla is the centerpiece. You know, nobody gets they tired of Godzilla. See, people I get tired of Batman. You Kong know, I used to love Batman. Good, and they want to see Godzilla. Everyone's hoping that Godzilla's in this movie some way or another. And by the way, you he, got... He's the big ticket. You got, you got debated in chat. They told you... It's actually Warner Brothers that owns Rotten Tomatoes, not Disney. See, uh, do your homework. I don't, Joey's so unprepared. No. Unprepared. Completely unprepared. Well, that's why I said I don't believe that at all. So I I wasn't stating the fact. I was just making a, a joke. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Nice try. But, um, but yeah, so I, I, Stuckman to me seems like the only person that has really anything negative to say about it. Um, uh, well, I uh, don't... The angry video game there, James Rolf, he, he's gonna review the movie on the uh on the tenth when it comes out. <laughs> that's another so, that's another guy. That's who, another guy, you know. That. He, he's very traditional. He he's just he's the to me, he's the godfather of YouTube. He's been doing reviews since the damn site went up. I like him, but you know, I don't always agree with him. I but don't, I don't dislike him. I just well here's the thing. He was doing a review of, of, of Shin Gojira. <laughs> yes. And That's and look, I, I know a lot of people love the movie. That's fine. I, I look, it's just not my it, I just wasn't crazy about it. Um but he said something about it being authentic and he said it's like drinking champagne. It's not uh, drinking it from, it's not real yeah. champagne if it's not from France. Correct. What? So you tell me if somebody does the exact same formula or recipe here in the States and they drink it, it's not real because they didn't make it in France? I mean, that's the dumbest yeah. shit I've ever heard. So, so, so what's what's a, what's a Marvel Marvel movie then? Is it the Marvel that's owned by Disney? Is it the, the Sony Marvel? Is it the, the Fox Marvel? What classifies as a real Marvel movie whatever, besides trash? I'm not sure. Whatever, whatever has the Marvel logo in the beginning. Yeah. See, here's the funny thing. Warner Brother and DC have all their rights on one table, right? All their characters. Right. There's no sharing, right? Right. Right. And bring it in here. And they still can't fucking get it right, even though they have access to all their characters, Joey. How you like that yeah. shit? Yeah. How do you I like Can you still. imagine that, Man Joey? Still was good. Joey, can you imagine? It's imagine this. Watch. Imagine this. Marvel's characters are spread right. along three different production companies. Yeah. And they all do better than DC, who is all in one Except house. Marvel can't get Gambit right. They can't get Venom right. They can't get Spider Man right. They've had four different Spider Mans in the past twelve years. Um, um, Green fucking Lantern. Hello. Okay. Green Lantern. That was Green, okay. Lantern. Green Lantern. Yeah, Green Lantern. Not getting Green like Lantern. Times. Ryan you know Reynolds ran the fuck away and became Deadpool because Green Lantern. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Green Lantern. Garbage. But what, Garbage. That, that's garbage. 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 Superman Returns was garbage too. Yeah, that movie sucked too. So yeah, I'm not saying and I, and I like Superman. Yeah, and I do too. Man of Steel, I thought it was good. I thought I, I like Man of Steel. Wow. Man of yeah. Steel is good. I do like the Superman that they have in this universe. Mm-hmm. I don't have a problem with him. I just have everything around him and Batman. Yeah. You know, how, how thank you, thank you, uh John. How about that Jonah Hex? Yeah. Who? Yeah, oh, who? Who cares hey, about Jonah hey, Hex? How, how about, about uh, how about this? Catwoman? What's... Catwoman? How's Catwoman oh, uh, doing Anne in Hathaway the DC universe these awesome. days? I thought she was the greatest yeah, Catwoman. Yeah. Well, why do you ask? Right. Yep. It's like Ghost Rider, right? Ghost Rider's been on Agents of Shield, and he's kicking ass. Oh, is that the well, third was, different Ghost Rider? Yeah. I actually thought the first Ghost Rider was pretty decent. It wasn't too bad. 
it was all right. It was. I, all right. I was disappointed before. because I'm a huge Ghost Rider fan, and they just didn't. A lot of the, a lot of the comic characters that I like have not been well. Obviously, Wolverine is leaving on a very high note, but his first movie was horrendous, and so was the second. I I didn't even bother mm, with. with I wouldn't second. go that far. Like I'm not saying the second one was epic, but it was a huge improvement over the first one, and he had some great scenes in that movie. But um, yeah, but, Batman and Robin, I, I, Mr. Yeah. Freeze, okay. Batman Robin. <laughs> cool party, yeah, okay. yeah. But it knew what it was. It knew what it, it was. Wasn't trying to be something like it wasn't. Like Days of Future's Past, they didn't even know what the hell they were doing. They're trying to reboot the X Men series with the same characters and start all over, and that didn't work because that movie was garbage. They followed up with Apocalypse, which was pretty bad. And now at least they got Logan coming up, which I'm probably going to see in two hours, which I think is probably going to be the best comic book movie since The Dark Knight. And I think it will probably be the standard for the next 10 Did years. Did you of just what say The movie. Dark Knight was the best comic book movie? Within the past 20 years, yes. Are you fucking delusional? What, you, you know think what? So it's well, all right. It's okay. It's okay. No. Are, You're are a you DC fanboy. I get it. I get it. I You're a DC Civil fanboy. It's okay. It, it would have been better if Zemo wasn't in that movie, because he was that that whole part of aspect of what Zemo was trying to do was stupid. And if he didn't have if Zemo wasn't in that movie, it would have been a lot better. I like Civil War. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are good movies, but they aren't at the level of what The Dark Knight is and was. And so Logan, which hopefully will reach the same level, which I fully expect it to be. <laughs> uh yes i do have discord uh dj ben <laughs> anyway you keep having those delusional dreams okay of, you, you, of uh, counter argue counter argue counter What's, argument to what to, so, to the dark knight the, what, yeah what, the what dark knight was a fantastic movie but okay. it pales in comparison to civil war how how first how? of all how? first Zemo of all First of all, first of all, the lead actor in in the Dark Knight was horrible. Christian Bale's a horrible Batman. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. He's not. There's so many. First, Ben Affleck, Warner, like, actually, in my opinion, is the best Batman they've had since Michael Keaton. Christian Bale wow. actually hurt the Dark Knight series more than he, he helped it. I liked him as Batman. I didn't like him as Bruce Wayne, but I think uh, Ben Affleck's the best Batman. Hands down. But I mean, all right, let's, or, let's or, you know what? Let's, let's, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, do this. let's, let's, let's go with your argument that it's the best comic book movie of all time. Okay. Or let's just say it's one of the few, one of the few really good comic book movies. But that's the only movie you have to hang your hat on. No. Batman it's Begins. The, oh, Batman Begins. Eh, it was all right. It was all right. I can say Civil War was better. Slightly better than Civil the Dark Knight. Civil War is the best action-packed it's comic book not. movie. It's not because ever. Zemo takes away everything. All the emotion. Fuck is Zemo! You Zemo. had Spider-Man yeah. fighting Falcon. Okay, okay, okay. But, but you had no, Batman no, fighting the Joker, and as no, good as that movie was, we've seen oh, that before. No, there's no emotion behind that that airport fight. There, there's no real conflict there. It, the best fight in that was between there's actually no Iron Man. Iron Man and Captain America at the end was the best. And Zemo ruined that movie. I liked that movie a lot. It, it was a lot better than I thought because Marvel's ship was sinking with Age of Ultron and Ant Man. They're going down. Luckily, Batman vs. Superman wasn't that great. And so Civil War brought them back up. But now that Suicide Squad has an Academy Award, hopefully Marvel can bounce back with Guardians of the Galaxy, which was good. It's going to be good. And then what else they got? Thor three comes out. The first <sighs> but Batman or DC has Wonder Woman coming out and Justice League. So Whoa. hopefully, are you banking but, on ju now Wonder Woman? I'm hoping for because that looks really good. But ju but Justice League, we Justice haven't, League. Are you seen, serious? Seen two minutes of Justice League and it, it looks pretty good so far. I've seen scenes of Aquaman, which is looks pretty good. What the just, fuck? Did you, all right, all right. You all right. just trust Zack Snyder because after I bet you, after Justice League, you're gonna say, "All right, Zack Snyder has to be the guy for Godzilla versus Kong. He has to be the guy. I would do every. I, he has to be the guy. 
he is the only one that could direct that movie. You're you're the writing you're writing that DC dick way too hard. Your your main characters are Kong and Godzilla. There's not that much depth behind two, you know, characters that can't talk. All he has to do is provide the action, which he can do. Give me Zack Snyder for King Kong, Godzilla, 2020. Chat, how do you feel? Let's see. Let's see what Chat thinks. Chat, how do you feel about King Kong versus Godzilla, directed by Zack Snyder? I'm not, I'm not, look, to be fair, I'm not 100% against it. But after what he's done to the DC Universe, I'm not as confident as yeah, I once was. What he's, he's done, he's done two movies. He's done two movies. Okay, so we have a no. <laughs> Bugger 217's like, yo, I like Snyder, but keep him away from my kaiju. Thumbs down by DJ Benzilla. Yeah, it's not looking. It's not looking very. It's not looking very. Uh, very uh, good right now for. I'd rather yeah, Michael a lot Bay. of people I'm with say, you on that. Wait, Gareth Edwards, the guy who made Godzilla, who wasn't in the movie, is going to make Rogue One. He's going to make a Star Wars movie, and what happens? Rogue One becomes the fourth best Star Wars, third yeah, best. Star Wars movie. Yeah, but a lot of people have faith in Gareth Edwards. The I have people, a lot of faith. The I people who would. had no faith in Gareth Edwards were people who didn't like Godzilla for 2014. <laughs> I'd rather have Roland Emmerich. <laughs> oh yeah, right. You're See, that's just hard, bro. bro. Well, hopefully, I know Zack Snyder's been hinting at doing it, so hopefully. Chat, let's bring this in real quick. Chat, I'm gonna say this, and I want you to confirm in chat for me if this is correct. Joey is out of his fucking mind, and he's a DC fanboy. Chat, confirm. Let's see what let's see what we get. From, <laughs> let's see what we get from that, Joey. Let's see what Chad has to say about that. Okay, you got one I'm confirmation. Single, one confirmation. Got another second confirmation. Ever seen Jonah Hex? You know how many <laughs> third see shows I've watched? I've seen two episodes of The Flash, one episode of Gotham. And <laughs> that I was think- Eric Matthews that said you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Oh, hey, Eric. <laughs> Eric was like, yeah, but talk, yeah, but Eric, you know, me and him started off on the kind of, it took a while for Eric no, to No, 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 here's me. the thing, and this, I'm glad Eric's here. Eric, thank you for coming. I'm glad he's here. You too. aspire to be like Eric Matthews. The only problem is he brings real news. <laughs> Your news is fake. Okay, I, it is my news is accurate news. news. I sh- broke sh- every sh- single Shin Godzilla story since day one. I'm the one who said, Holy shit. You had make- no excuse so, not to break that stuff. You were in Japan. You I wasn't were in, in Japan. Japan. I was not. I was in Japan after the movie came out. So that's different. This fucking guy. Yeah, there's no fake news from Eric Matthews. It's fantastic, accurate yeah. news. Joey Guzman, not only is your news fake, but I am going to deport you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, last thing. We haven't talked about wrestling yet. Let's get into this before we finish the podcast uh, because um, I've been slowly getting back into wrestling. It's been years, 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 years. Uh, I've been I've been catching – I started watching again before SummerSlam of last year. Mm-hmm. That's when I got back into it. I got the WWE Network, so I get to get all the pay-per-views, much like I'm sure a lot of people do. Uh, right. <laughs> build a wall around Joey's news. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, Eric Matthews is roasting you right now, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's roasting you hard. Um, so here's the, so the big deal now is apparently Randy Orton flipped the switch on Bray Wyatt, right. and now it looks like they're going to be working towards a triple threat match. At no, Mania. actually, that's what I thought, but I guess. Uh... Randy Orton and AJ Styles are going to have a match next week on SmackDown. To whoever wins that match, but you I know, think is but you know how they do this. What will happen is they'll get into some conflict, and yeah. there's going to be like, triple threat matches in, in WrestleMania are really good. I mean, one of the best ones I remember uh, was with one of my favorite wrestlers before he went cuckoo. Uh, triple threat match between Chris Benoit, Triple H, and <laughs> Shawn Michaels. One of my favorites. Chris Benoit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge. I, I was I was a huge Chris Benoit fan before he went mental. Uh, very sad. It's very sad. Um, but I think I think that's where they're gonna go, and I think that'd be great. 
A triple yeah, threat with, uh, with uh, uh, Orton. I think it'll be... Yeah, Orton, AJ Styles, and uh, Bray Wyatt. Uh, two of those guys are really talented. And AJ Styles and Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton always mails it in. I mean, he, he doesn't mail it in, but he doesn't give out his full... And not yeah. the only one I've seen that now, do you, a lot online. Do you watch... And, uh, all right, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm reading chat as you're talking... So DJ Benzilla is saying that Impact Wrestling is crap now. I mean WWE is crap now. Impact Wrestling is where it's at. I <laughs> I I don't. I mean I, I can only watch one at a time. And WWE is obviously where I left off. And it's definitely different now than it used to be. It's not as it's a little bit too much drama now it, than it used to be for me. But it's for kids. It's what it is now. Yeah. And that's not coming from my mouth. That's coming from my mouth of. Someone who works with the WWE. I've worked with them, I want to say, four times now. And I always like talking to the, the people that work for the company. We talk about the old stories, the old days that you and I grew up on. But now it's all for kids, really, is what it is. Mm. As some news, I know someone posted earlier this week that uh, that one of the guys <clears throat> named Jack Swagger was released. And I thought he was a no-talented guy anyways. But apparently he wasn't released. He's still with the WWE. We have a pay per view coming to Sunday. Uh, it's the last pay per view. Whoa, 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 whoa. For... Time out, time out, time out. Did you just say we? WWE. You don't fucking work for WWE. I worked with them. You've worked with them, not for them. Big difference. Yeah. Don't take. Look, this is an honest podcast. I can't have I you have shouting out fake four bullshit. shirts that say WWE crew. I am friends with Charles Robinson, the best referee in the business. He knows me. I know him. I offered to take him to Chipotle one time when I worked with him. All right. You offered. Did he go with you? No, because he wanted to run there. No, you know he's, why? He's you know why he didn't go with you? Because, because he's a runner. Because he works for WWE and you don't. No, because he, he wanted doesn't to go. Run. He doesn't go to lunch with fanboys. He goes to lunch with his coworkers. Yeah. No, I am his co-worker. Every time he comes to Southern California, him and I are co-workers. Yeah. And my boss is a Triple H and a sick man. And my employee, you other dream- co- You keep dreaming, yeah. Joey. You keep dreaming. No, I'm back there. I'm back there backstage. I'm getting the guys ready for their, their promos. Um, Do you massage them? Do you oil them up? Uh, just a divas. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> You know you oil up those guys, man. You're like, yo, come here. Yo, Miz, let me take care of that for you. <laughs> uh, the Miz can dress, though. I'll give him that. I don't like him, but the four or five times I've seen him come in, man, that guy knows how to dress. It's the money, I guess. Uh-huh. So, so now, uh, back into the – so that's that's going to be the – I think that's going to be the big card at WrestleMania. Is going to be a, a – or they might go a fatal four-way and bring in Luke Harper. He's he's also involved in that in that struggle. So. Yeah, yeah. The last time they had a fatal four uh, for a WrestleMania was WrestleMania sixteen, WrestleMania two thousand, which is my very first wrestling event that I went to, and that was between a uh, Triple H, The Rock, Big Show, and uh, Mick Foley, and it was an elimination. I liked that pay per view a lot because mostly because I was there, but it, maybe they could go that way, but I don't think so. I think that at WrestleMania, that's where they're supposedly. That's what I believe. I believe they're going to bring in the Hardy Boys because I know they are working their way out of TNA. I was going to say that's what I'm waiting for. I'm yeah, waiting for I the know, Hardys I know to arrive, man. Way out of that. And WWE, the rumor is that they want them back. Whether or not they keep their same gig that they got going on TNA, we don't know yet. TNA they, may they need to keep that. Right. They need to keep that gig. Yeah. That's what people want to see. Everybody wants to see that delete yeah. shit. Yeah. And they need to let them have their matches in their fucking house or whatever, whatever they do. That's just incredible. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think they're going to be a big part of WrestleMania. With, I think they're going to be uh, Bray Wyatt's new little goons because they're, they're all crazy. And I think he would work perfectly. And it'll be a great, you know, anything could happen at WrestleMania. That's when they lot to bring up a lot of good talent. <laughs> Damn, DJ, DJ Benzilla is being so hostile. So he says he thinks the Hardy Boys are going to New Japan Wrestling. No, there's money in WWE. Yeah. I mean, we'll see what happens. It's hard to tell unless you're really, really in and on the scoop. Uh, New Japan World Wrestling, a lot of wrestlers go there. I've, 
I mean, I used to watch New Japan World Wrestling way back in the day. That's how I became a Jushin Thunder Liger fan. Uh, when he, yeah, I know. You guys don't know him. Yeah, he, Jushin Thunder Liger. He, actually, he's still wrestling. Yeah, uh, related he, to La Parka? No, you no, remember La Parka from WCW? Yeah, yeah. No, Jushin Thunder Liger has been around for years. He's like the Hulk Hogan of Japan wrestling. Okay. Um, but, you know, now he does a lot of small... Like, Dude, you remember that clip they had on The Nation of the wrestlers doing that stupid line where everybody, they were all in the, in the ring and they were sticking their thumbs up each other's ass? The stupid what? shit? No. Yeah, well, somebody I think posted... you were watching that video at home or something. <laughs> Not on The Nation. No, that was on The Nation. <laughs> it was a stupid gimmick. But anyway, he was in that video with a bunch of other wrestlers. Um, he still wrestles from time to time. Uh, that's, how, that's how I learned about Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit, when he wrestled... In New Japan World Wrestling, he was uh, known as the Pegasus Kid. That's how oh, I, I thought he was known as the Hangman. Not in New Japan, no. He used to, <laughs> and he used to wear a mask. He used to wear a mask when he was out there. So well, Like an executioner mask, right? No, it was a white mask. He was called the Pegasus <laughs> Kid. Just, Why the fuck would you be called the Pegasus Kid and wear an executioner's mask? I'm no just sense. fucking playing, dude. No, you're I'm not playing. No, you're not the playing. The executioner. No. Yeah. That was before he was part of the Four Horsemen in WCW. He obviously, of, yeah. He was part of the Four Horsemen. Yep, the new Four Horsemen. Yep. Yeah. Well, at that yeah. time it was new. But uh, yeah. so all right, so we got we got what we think might be it could potentially be a triple threat match, possibly yeah. a fatal four way. Now, um, the other main event at WrestleMania is uh, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar three. And we have a pay per view coming up. This or WWE has a pay per view coming up. We, I'm just so used to it because I, I know I know the business inside and out since I worked with them so many times. I know the tricks and you know what goes on backstage. But uh, we have Vaseline coming up. Last pay per view before WrestleMania. Uh, Goldberg versus Brock, or excuse me, Goldberg versus uh, Kevin Owens for the Universal Title. It's a Raw pay per view, and Goldberg's gonna win. He's going to have the belt. And he's going to lose it to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? He's going to lose it, and then that's going to be it for Goldberg. And we probably won't see Brock Lesnar again until SummerSlam anyways because he's part-timers. we got two part-timers. So, which I don't... Why why is he a part-timer if he's not doing any more... um, If he's not doing any more of the the MMA? uh, Brock Lesnar hates traveling. He does not want to leave or travel anywhere unless he has to. He said he would only come back because when he after uh, WrestleMania 32, he uh, when he lost uh, the belt uh, when he, he was facing Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins came in with the and he cashed in his uh, cash me the uh, the money in the bank and he pinned Reigns. Brock Lesnar lost the belt. He was supposed to he, his contract was up after WrestleMania, but he resigned because Vince McMahon said we'll pay you full time. You only have to work part time. Because he does not like to travel. He hates being on the road. He just wants to stay home. What and so bitch. WWE is willing to pay him. So that's why he said, you know, like, I'm a part-time guy and I get paid full-time. So why wouldn't I want to resign? So that's that's his story. Yeah, well, it's because, you know, there's just so many. One, one thing I noticed now that I'm watching wrestling again is the star power is, is, is a very small pool. It's a yep. very small pool now than compared to the years ago. And there's certain yeah. wrestlers they try to push that they just should they shouldn't waste so much Roman time Reigns. trying to push. Yeah, I know I know Roman, Roman Reigns, Reigns is one of the Roman big Reigns. ones. A lot of people like him. Yeah, Roman Reigns seems very bland. Um you know, there's just certain wrestlers that I don't think I think they just waste too much time pushing. Um And they're not pushing the right guys that should be pushed. Like Bray Wyatt, it, it took him too long to become a champion. How long? He's one of the most talented guys that I've seen. And probably since the attitude era. I uh, like him. Has he been around that long? Why don't I recognize him? I've been him? around, yeah. For the Monday Night Wars, that's when it was in the Tay Day. Attitude era, Monday Night Wars. Who the fuck was he back Bray- then? Who? Uh, Bray Wyatt. No, I'm saying, no, no, no. No, I'm saying I think he's oh. one of the best since then. He hasn't been. He's only like 24 or 27, something like that. I was like going to say, I don't, I don't recognize he him. But Cena was... was in the business Cena, back then. Cena's old. I, I mean, yeah, come but, on. Cena started when I was still watching. I mean, Cena was uh, around. He was. I mean, I you remember, remember that movie that came out. I'm I remember when he came. Was, when he came up, he was called the prototype. And, I don't uh, know. I just remember his first match against Kurt Angle on SmackDown. He was just John Cena. Yeah. Well, he came up. His nickname was the prototype because you know he's 
obviously big guy, had a great, great body, great body build. And uh, then he developed the Cena and the whole rap shit, which oh, I, I, never, I never I never, got sold with that. I mean, I can understand why a lot of people booed him. Um, I like yeah. him. I like him overall. I think, I think you know, he's fine as, as a wrestler. I just think his gimmick is not that great. My favorite right now is Randy Orton. Uh, that's that's one of my favorites. Um, him. I actually I, like, I I actually like The Miz. Players. Miz is really funny. I like him. He does a lot for the the, the the company. Whenever they go dark, the Miz always comes out and he he talks with the crowd and he puts on a little show. He he he's a I don't like him, but he, he does a lot for them under the beneath behind the scenes, which yeah. you want to know about because you're not behind the scenes like I am since I work with them. All right, Joey, this is where we cut you off. <laughs> nobody gives a shit about what you have to say about being behind the scenes when we know you're not. But what did I tell you before? You don't have to lie to make friends. Okay. Oh, no, there are people I, that actually I'm like you. It may not be many, but they like you. So, uh, sure. but anyway, we are going to call it here. So we got a peer review Sunday. So we'll definitely talk about that next week. Uh, we'll probably talk about Logan. Yeah, uh, definitely talk about Logan because I'm going to check that out. Uh, then we got. I'm going to. I want to try and see Kong next Thursday. Yeah, so, I'm probably not going to see it until after the podcast. Well, then maybe I maybe I won't have you on the podcast because I'm going to be talking the shit out of it. All right. <laughs> Why should we want to do this podcast next Saturday instead of Friday? Uh, we could do it Saturday. We could do it Saturday. If we do Saturday, then we can do a, a full out Kong, and we could talk about what full, happens. A after full the Kong, a full Kong uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let, let's play it by ear. We could probably okay. do that, but we're gonna have we'll a lot of stuff Kong to talk about. The, yeah, because yeah. we have the wrestling, we have the Kong movie, the Logan movie, which we're gonna catch yeah. up with. Uh, yeah. Could you guess sometime? You know what? After what happened? Oh, no, somebody on chat wanted to ask if he could be a guest on the show. And, is that Jonathan Ware? Yeah, it is Jonathan Ware. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know asking that? Asking me so many times. Like I said, we're trying to get Garrett Edwards to come on, so he's first. Yeah. And so um, actually, actually, John, if if it's any indication as to what happened today with Joey, I don't think I'll ever have another <laughs> guest on. <laughs> Joey was we, completely we had, unprepared today. No, because you lied to me about the setup. I didn't lie to everything you about was shit. Good everything week. was good last week, and then you came and you fucked everything up. Why are you blaming me when you said, "Oh, the software crashed"? Right as soon as we're about to go live. Oh, that, but that was just that was at one time. Okay, it was but like as before. far as trying you, dude. Your your internet connection is garbage. You need to go hardwire next week. Don't go Wi-Fi. No, Connect the your wifi hardwire. The Wi-Fi is on the other side of the house. I need to get a Wi-Fi booster. Is what I need. It's like it's like. Like forty feet away. If I got a Wi-Fi booster in my room, I'll be good. Okay. I'll try to do that soon. So, all right. So, anyway, chat. I want to thank all you guys for coming by yes, and yes. joining the podcast. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Joey is. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, Joey will be prepared cool. next time so we can get started a lot sooner. Wait, I'm not lied to you about the setup next time. <laughs> <laughs> did roasting you again they said this is coming from a guy who said he couldn't hook up a switch <laughs> That's fucking... All right. hey man I'm getting... when you get my age man you... things become hard don't talk about your age brother what are you still in your 20s I'm 30 you're 30 Jesus fucking Christ I remember when I was 30 uh, anyway so chat if you guys are interested I'm going to be game streaming tomorrow night as well uh, as I said for some of you who were on my last live stream on YouTube uh, you know, January, February was two very busy months for me with work and the budget and all that and all that stuff in the, in the office. So now that those two months are over, I'm back to kind of getting back to the swing of things. So I will be on tomorrow night streaming a game. I haven't decided which one yet, but um, it all depends. I might do something simple because uh, I'm still streaming from one computer right now. I have a second computer on the way that I'm pretty much one processor away, and that'll be my streaming computer. And once I get that set up, I'll be able to stream, like seriously. So when I game, when I game, that is when I'm not gaming and we do podcast. As long as Joey's set up and he knows what the fuck he's doing, it should run smoothly. As long as you're not lying to me about what I need to be doing. Um. Yeah. Okay, Joey. You keep telling yourself that. Uh, Resident Evil Seven. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't even know if I have that game. I got to check my Steam, see what games I have on there. I mean, I have. I have For Honor, but we'll see. I don't want to play anything too graphic intensive because, like I said, I'm still streaming from one computer. So only games 
like mellow games. Like last time I tried to play For Honor, it didn't really come out too well. And I don't want you guys looking at a laggy stream. I won't be getting my second computer at least for another week or two uh, once I get the processor. And then I can play games like Resident Evil without having to worry about that crap. So, But we'll get together tomorrow either way. We'll just chill and play something. And we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. And that'll be probably around 9.30. I'll start the countdown at 9 as usual. And we'll go from there. But uh, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for coming by. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Yes, thank we'll you, We'll be Joey. better next week. Yep, we'll, yeah, we'll be back next week. We'll talk a lot of Kong. We'll talk some Logan. We'll talk some wrestling and whatever else happens during the week in the entertainment world. New hashtag on the nation, Joey It's. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't get that. I I don't know. You'll have to ask Murphy. He, he, he's the one yeah, I'm going to ask him. So. All right, guys. Have a good night. Joey, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you next yeah, week. Thanks for well, me. I'll talk to you every day on the nation. So Yeah. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good one. Rob? One second. Shutting down. Okay. We're still live, brother. They can still hear you. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. <laughs>